Hello everyone. We will continue the topic internal table operations and we already cover append, loop and delete internal table operations. Now it's a turn to cover the modify internal table operation. Now word itself is saying we can modify the records of the internal table. We can modify the rows of the internal table using which particular internal table operation modify. Now, what we will do, we will take a requirement and we will achieve that requirement using modify internal table operation. So I will go to the program which we created. Now, in this program, our internal table LT underscore data has five records. We inserted five records to the internal table and we are displaying the records. I commented the delete, in, I commented the logic for the delete internal table operation. So I have five records in the internal table and we are displaying these records one by one using which internal table operation loop. Now I will take a requirement first. I will show you in debugging mode what is the requirement. I'll put a breakpoint. I will run. We all know desktop 3 is most preferable desktop. What is our internal table? LT underscore data. Now, what is the requirement? The requirement is where O and O, where O and O value is 1, we want to change the PM means payment mode to N. Now, what is the requirement? Whenever the order number means O and O value is 1, we want to set the payment mode means PM to N. As of now, for order number 1, what is payment mode? C. For the order number 1, what is payment mode? D. Now, what is the requirement? Whenever the pay order number is 1, I want to set the payment mode to N. It means I want to change, I want to modify these two particular records. So whenever you want to modify the records of the internal table, what is the internal table operation? Modify. So what we will do, we all know these records are in internal table. We will apply a loop on the internal table. One by one, record will go to what? Work area. We will check if O and O value is 1, we will set the PM to N. We will set the payment mode to N. Now, same to same approach we will follow. We will not directly modify the internal table. Firstly, we will pass the value to work area. Then we will use work area to modify the internal table. This is always golden rule we are doing. In case of append also, firstly you pass the records one by one to work area. Then from the work area, it is inter to internal table. In case of loop, one by one you pass the record to work area. Then you display it. Now here also, Whenever we will modify the record, we will firstly pass the value to work area. From the work area, we will modify the internal table. So we will see the logic, how we can write the logic for the same. So I'll simply firstly come out and we will write a logic. So our internal table has five records up to this level. I will go to change mode of the program. I will apply loop first. Loop at. What is our internal table? LT underscore data into. What is our work area? LWA data. 
we all know we can end a line through dot for every loop there is a end loop now whenever one by one whenever one by one the record will go to work area we will check is the work area o n o is equal to 1 i will check we all know we have a conditional statement if if work area hyphen which column o n o if it is equal to 1 because we have a requirement that whenever o n o is 1 only for those records we want to set the pm means payment mode to n how i will write l w a underscore data hyphen what is column name pm and we are setting to now this particular n value this particular n you pass to work area how it will go to internal table how this particular new value will be will go to internal table with the help of which internal table operation modify so i will write modify modify what is the name of internal table lt underscore data you are modifying the internal table from 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 what is the name of your work area lwa underscore data because in this work area only you are passing the updated value what is updated value and now the most most important part see as of now we are only only changing the value of which column pm pm means payment mode we are only changing the value of we are only changing one value that is payment mode so how we will pass that value we have a keyword transporting transporting which particular value you are changing pm you are only changing the value of which column pm means payment mode see this work area has two column one is order number one is payment mode but from this work area from this work area you are only only want to pass which particular updated value you only want to change which value payment mode so that's why we used transporting pm always always make a practice suppose if you are changing the values of five columns for a particular record always pass only those five columns after transporting the meaning of word itself is saying transporting transporting it means it will only transport the value of payment mode to that particular record and we are only only changing payment mode it's very important point so with the help of transporting you can pass those columns for which you are changing the values now we all know for every if there is a end if. Now I'll check the syntax and activate. Now for the best understanding, I will show you in debugging mode how the values are changing to the or how the records are changing of the internal table. I'll put a break. I will go for execution. I'll go to desktop. This is the internal table, five records. This is the work area. Loop will continue how many times? Five times. And from the internal table, firstly, first record will go to work area. As of now, work area is blank. We all know line by line execution F6. Now I am on 44 number line. First record move to work area. If I will check what is work area O and no. Yes, what is work area O and no. It is 1. If work area O and no is equal to 1. Yes. So if condition is true, correct. 
whenever if condition is true we are setting the pm to n we are setting the payment mode to n and you can see in the work area now the payment mode is set to n but if you see the internal table still the internal table the pm is c it is not n because we pass the value n to work area as of now now how how this particular updated value will go to internal table using which statement modify modify you are modifying the internal table from work area you are modifying the internal table from work area but after transporting after transporting keyword we used which particular column pm it means it will only only pass the value of payment mode and what is the value of payment mode and it means in this internal table it will update the payment mode to n if i will do f6 you can see if i will show you the internal table have you seen for the first record the payment mode is set to n transporting word you have to always always use or make a practice after transporting whatever the columns you will specify the values of those columns will update in the internal table now i will go for next iteration now next iteration of the loop if you see the order number is 1 if you see for the second record also the order number is 1 so if condition is true yes it will set the payment mode to n yes correct if you see as of now internal table payment mode is d because our modify has not executed yet now whenever i will execute the modify you can see for the second record also the payment mode is set to n now i will move on to third record third record if condition is false so it will skip this if condition for the fourth record if condition is false for the fifth record also the if condition is false and we are displaying these five records and you can see for the first two records the payment mode is set to n now what is the summary of the video in this video we studied one more important internal table operation that is modify with the help of modify you can modify the records of the internal table what is the syntax of the modify modify internal table from work area firstly you need to pass the values to work area from the work area it will go to internal table and the most important most important word is transporting after transporting you can specify those columns for which columns you want to update the values in the internal table because see we do not want to update the value of 100 or 200 column suppose internal table has 200 columns okay we have a record and we have 200 columns we do not want to update the values of 200 column so you have to specify which particular columns you are transporting into the internal table for that particular record so always make a practice to use transporting in the modify internal table operation so that's it in this video thank you